Hi, I'm going to teach you how to play our card game Ready Getty, a magical take on Slapjack. This is a great card game for little ones, preschoolers, ages four and up. It's a good first card game and it has all kinds of beneficial aspects educationally. So what you're doing is you're going to be looking for the Yeti, which is he says Ready Yeti on him. He's giving you like a peace sign. But all the other cards also have inspirational messages, which kids can try to read to practice their literacy. And you're also looking at different colors and patterns on these cards. And they're just super fun. The illustrations are fantastic. This is a fairy that says, just wing it. A llama that says, amazing. And some mushrooms that say, have fungus. So it's got some sort of positive social emotional value to it as well. So that they're very uplifting, inspiring illustrations. So the way that you set this game up is that you can play with two to four players and you deal out the cards evenly. So all the cards are gone. And you might not have the exact same number cards uh, of cards per player. If you have an odd number of players, for example, but that's perfectly fine. So now we've, we've dealt out our cards evenly and the youngest player, in this case, my compatriot here, is gonna go first and they place, um, we call this a snow pile that we're holding in our hand and the mountain pile in the middle. So she's gonna place a card down on the mountain and I'm gonna take turns placing, <gasps> it's a Yeti, so ready Yeti. Okay, so I'm, we're taking turns placing cards down and I happen to place the Yeti on. So if I say ready Yeti first, then I get to take the mountain pile and I put it on the bottom of my snow pile and then I get to start the next round. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. And we're just taking turns, placing them down. We're looking, ready, ready Yeti. Yeti. In that case, we set it at the same time. So what do you do if you do it at the same time? We call that an avalanche. So in that case, one of the players places a card down and starts a new mountain pile, okay? And we keep going until we see another Yeti. And whoever says Ready Yeti first, that time wins. And if both people say at the same time again, then you go again and make yet another avalanche. So that's how you play. And if all the Yetis have been played, it's a freeze out. So if there's no more Yetis left, then the game is just over. And whoever has the, the most cards in their hand wins. The goal ultimately is ideally to be the one who has all the cards in your hand at the end of the game.